Okay, this is part two of our first day of Unit 3 notes. You should have done the part one video first because we're going to still do things the same way. First you draw out the picture. M is the midpoint of LP. What that means I know is this one is in the middle and this side is equal to that side. I still have to label it just like before. LP, that's the whole distance there. The whole distance is 4x minus 4. And I know LM is 8. Well, if this is the midpoint, that means that this side is 8 and this side is 8. They have to be equal for this to be the midpoint. So now that I have this labeled, now it is exactly like what we did up there. I just do the little part plus the little part equals the big part. This is now exactly what we did before. So I have 8 plus 8 equals 4x minus 4. So this 8 plus that 8 equals 4x minus 4. Then it's just algebra. Add the 4. And all that they'd ask us to do in this one was find x. I found x. There it is. And I check it off to make sure I've got everything done. Okay, now we're going to do the other one. I want you to first, just like I said in the first video, circle the things I'm looking for. Draw the picture. B is the midpoint. It's in the middle. Then label the parts A, B. B, C. I'm going to highlight these. Now this time, I don't know how long the whole thing is. But remember with midpoint, the two halves are the same because this is exactly in the middle. So on midpoint, I sometimes need to know that this side is equal to that side if I don't know the whole part. So 4x minus 7 equals 5x minus 15. Now just subtract the 4x. Add the 15. Am I done with the problem? No, I got this part, but now I need to find AC, which is the whole thing. In order to find that, I need to plug in each one of these. So what I did is I went through and I said, well, AB is this. That's AB, and I plugged in my 8, and I solved it, and I found that this part here, the pink part, is 25. Then I plugged in for BC, which is the purple part. I plugged in 8. I found BC is 25. By the way, if I get the same number on both of those, did I do it right? Yes, because that's the midpoint, so these two have to be equal. Then to find AC, the whole thing, I just do 25 plus 25 is 50, and that's AC, and that's the other thing I needed to find, and I'm done. Okay, the next ones we're going to use, the answer is going to be a formula. And you'll remember that when we did this on the warm-up, one end plus the other end divided by two gets me where the middle is. And that's what we're going to use on this. So I'm going to label this again. It tells me this time, it's not telling me how long each section is. It's telling me if I put this on a number line, L is at 2 and P is at X minus 1. And I want to know where M is. So all that I need to do is plug these in the formula. 2 is one end, x minus 1 is the other end, and I divide by 2. So this is just to simplify the algebra. I combine like terms on top. I've got x, and then 2 minus 1 is positive 1 over 2, and that's all we do. That's where m is on this number line. So we're going to do it again. I've got a... B is the midpoint, C is the other end. If A is at X plus 3 and C is at 7, find B. So I use the same formula, one endpoint plus the other endpoint and divide by 2. Combine like terms, that's those, and I'm done. That's all you do on that kind. Then we have one last kind to look at here, which is very related to midpoint. But here, instead of telling me that it's exactly halfway, they're telling me it's some other distance here. So there's really two ways you can figure this out. One is dividing the distance. If I know that B is a third of the way here, I can divide that distance. Okay, so the first way is to kind of logic your way through it. Find the length from here to here. Well, 
to find the length from negative 5 to 0, that's 5, and from 0 to 7, that's 7, so the whole length is 12. You can count them up, there's 12 there. Then I take and divide that by the bottom of the fraction. A third is the same as dividing by 3, so 12 divided by 3 is 4. So if I want to find a point that's 4 over from this end, I start here and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, here's a fourth. If I go 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see I've divided this into three equal parts, and one-third of the way across is where b is, it's at negative 1. So I'm going to add this 4 to the right side, and I end up at where I'm looking for. So negative 5 plus 4 equals negative 1. That's where b is. The other way is to use a formula, and this really actually does the same exact steps we did, but if you're a formula person, you may like this better. So b is the middle that we're looking for, and we're going to see that we get the same answer. I just plug these in. A in my formula is always this end. Even if it's not a in your problem, it's always this end, negative 5, plus the fraction, and then c is always this end, no matter what it is in your problem, so that's 7 minus this end, negative 5. So I have negative 5 plus 1 third, 7 minus a negative, that's 12. 12 times 1 third, you can do it in your calculator, that's 4, and I get negative 1. Let's look and compare this. So on this side, what we did is we found the from C to A, well that's the same length, this 12, that's just the length of the problem here. Then I multiplied it times 1 third, that's the same as dividing by the bottom of the fraction. Then I added it on, so that's the same step as here. So this is kind of if you just like to know the steps and do the steps, this is if you like the, for the formula. I'm going to use the formula on these two examples here so you can see <coughs> how the formula works if you prefer the formula. So the first thing we need to do is draw it out. I'm going to draw it out and label it. Pause so you can draw it out. And so I just drawed it out and I labeled it. And so we're going to use the formula. So this is what my formula says. But you have to keep in mind my letters don't necessarily match my problem because every problem might have different letters in it. This first one, we're looking for where the middle is. So in my problem, that's D. So I'm actually going to change that to D. And then these happen to have A and C in them. It's always this end plus the fraction, and then this end minus this end. So then I just use my please excuse my dear Aunt Sally again. Do the part in parentheses first. 1 quarter times 20 is negative 5. You can use your calculator and we get negative 10 is the answer. We're going to do the same thing on the other one. I've already labeled it. <laughs> Pause and rewind the video as you need to to keep up with me. I've labeled it. I'm going to use my formula. Just copying it down. It's actually E in this problem. This is this end. My fraction is 1 6. This is this end. Minus a negative is a positive. Eighteen divided by six is three, so I get negative eleven.